in here with legs hanging out, which is the legs of the kid. Um, but now I'm going to slide this over a little more and just, I'm going to let Dano zoom in right there. How's it looking? You got him? Busted. You're looking at busted. So this entire hieroglyph is an image of the evil one. It's got an alien raping a human female, producing a hybrid species. When you turn it upside down, he's eating his own kid. When you turn the queen upside down, she's a dead sheep. There's a dead sheep in this kid's head. There's dead sheep actually in all the heads of all the children. Um, there's a serpent with the legs hanging out of the serpent's mouth. And here's an image of a guy stuck in hell. Now what do you think the odds all this stuff could be in this hieroglyph? Well, I'll tell you what, this stuff's not just in this hieroglyph. It is literally all over the place. I've had a friend of mine, um, his name was Marcel. He wasn't a very close friend, but he's a guy I know. And uh, he, he warehoused you know, he worked at a warehouse that uh, I, I had an office at, and uh, he drew the exact same agenda that's on this hieroglyph of me. I'm going to show it to you real quick, kind of just as one of those little things I want to show you. But I'm going to show this real quick. This is a picture of me, and um, he put fangs on me, and, and I was working on a table one night in my warehouse, and and. I was building a table out of glass marbles, and this guy walks up to me and he hands me this picture of myself, and uh, you know it looks pretty innocuous. He put fangs on me because I had a sunglass company called Vampire Sunglasses, so he put sunglasses on me too. I wasn't saved. That was in 2001 that he did it. Well, I'm going to slide this over right here, and I'm going to show you. Here's an image of a sheep. There's a sheep's eye. There's a sheep's nose. There's its tongue sticking out. And um, here's an image of a goat. Here's the goat's eye, eye. There's its nose. And here's the goat's ear. And there's its horn, its horn there. Its other horn right there. Its other ear. And now here's a, the goat's front hoof right there and kind of the hair under the stomach. Now watch this. This is fascinating. Here's a, here's a Mayan Indian. Like there's his eye, his nose, his mouth, his chin. And he's wearing a hat that's got a, you know, it's like one of those Mayan or Aztec hats. But there's also one, two, three pyramids, three pyramids. Watch this, and turn the page. And the guy I know, he put a dead sheep on top of my head. He put a goat on the back of my head. And he put a serpent eating me with its tail wrapped around my neck. That's exactly what's in this hieroglyph. That is exactly what's in the hieroglyph. I'm going to see if Dan will, will pan over here. I want to show you a big serpent. Right here. Here's the tail of the serpent. Here's the tail of the serpent right here going up, bending. And then the body of the serpent going up right here. And there's the eye of the serpent right there. And there's the nose of the serpent. And the serpent's eating this kid right here. And this kid is standing on the lap of the queen. So there's a serpent eating a kid. The mouth is open. And there's a dead sheep in this kid's head, too. That's exactly what's going on in this picture. There's no way, I mean, that how, how in the world could someone that I know produce the exact same agenda as this hieroglyph? It's 1300 BC. Um, anyway, he did. But I've seen this many, many times. Anyway, I'm not going to start beating this, this thing into the ground. I think you guys have seen enough. If you want, you can go online and download this. Just go look up uh, Akhenaten, A-K-H-E-N-A-T-E-N, -E -E and Nefertiti. And um, you can find this, um, this same hieroglyph. You'll find it in a, a series of different resolutions. I highly suggest, if you want to decrypt it, you go get the April 1, 2001 issue of National Geographic because it's such a clean photo. You can really, you can really see the stuff really easy. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what the final part is that God's called me to do. He's called me to solve the mark of the beast. That one's been around for a long time. And um, it's not by my choice. Uh, it wasn't, like I said, something that I decided to do. But God just handed it to me and poured it into me. So we're going to solve the mark of the beast. We're gonna, I'm going to show you the false prophet. And I'm going to show you the Antichrist. And um, you can do what, what you want with this information. Um, 
I've got to do what I've got to do. Anyway, so we're going to take a little break. I'm going to set that stuff up, and then we're going to knock them down one at a time. Okay, okay we're back. Um, this is it, home stretch. <laughs> uh, I bet everyone's like glad. Anyway, um, this is the end of the road. This is this is since 2002 what the Lord's called me to get together and to get done for you, and it's really mind blowing to me because He only finished the puzzle for me, you know, maybe a month ago. And when you look at what's going on in the world, you're gonna just go, oh my gosh. So let's check it out. We're going to solve the mystery of the beast, the false prophet, and the antichrist, which is mentioned in the book of Revelation. Um, I'm going to show you Revelation 13, 17. And, you know, everyone's heard about the mark of the beast that you can't buy anything or sell anything unless you have the mark of the beast. But let, let's read it and see how it reads. It says, And that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now check this out. It says, here is wisdom. Okay, guys, there's no way I could know this without God just giving it to me. I didn't decide to figure this out. I didn't want to figure it out, but God compelled me to figure it out. He gave it to me. It's all his, all glory to God. Just, I thank God that he would use me to do something for him. Um, so check it out. It says, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six now check this out i'm going to go down here and it's, i'm going to start going through it the mark of the beast and that's going to be the alien inside the human body is the mark of a man it is the number of a man because the beast has become a man. Now, watch this. You remember the devil that you saw? Let's go over here. The devil that's right here, the other eye of the devil is the eye of the child. Well, that child is the offspring of the alien that's fornicating with the human woman, and it produced the child, and that is the eye of the devil. Okay, now watch this. This kid's eye right here equals this eye right here. Now, you can go online and you can find this information. The numerical delineation or value of the all seen eye pyramid is also 666. So this pyramid is the number 666. So this creature, which is represented by the, the pyramid, has attained its completion bodily in the form of a human, which is going to be a saint on earth. And um, I'm going to have to take the mark of the beast. So now that I've shown you what these symbols equal, I'm going to turn the page and we're going to kind of, I'm going I'm to like have to jump back two pages, but watch this. So here's the beast. The beast is this alien inside a human body. Okay, and that, the beast is all over the world. I mean, literally all over the world. It, that utterance, and has not the sea become mighty, and the sea shall turn terrible before your very eyes. Now, I'm gonna go back. Now watch this. I was born and raised Catholic, guys. I love my parents, I love my brothers, I love my sister. Um, they're all pretty much still rooted in the Catholic Church. I would literally lay down my life to try and get one of them out of it because it's a false religious system. You know, they tell you by, you know, you got to do this, you got to do this. You, you can go to some place called purgatory for your sins where you're like in a long time out until your sins are paid for. That totally is against grace. That is, that is the opposite of what God says. God says it is finished. Jesus said it is accomplished. He did it all. Okay, now watch this. Here we go. Here's an image of a devil. The Lord lets me see things in images. Here's the devil's eye, his eye, his nose.